So the discriminant is something that we use to determine how many solutions a parabola or a quadratic may have before we even graph it on a plane. Um, so what I mean by that is that um, you can find out how many x-intercepts a uh, quadratic solution has or quadratic equation has before you even um, analyze it on the graph. And so the discriminant is uh, defined by the following. Delta equals b squared minus 4ac. Now, uh, this b squared minus 4ac is taken from the uh, excerpt of, or it's taken from the little, you know, the quadratic formula in the form of x equals b squared, uh, not b squared, sorry, minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So you can see that's taken uh, from that part. So there's conditions that you need to remember um, in this case. If delta is positive, if it is positive, what we will uh, end up having is that we will have two real solutions. And what does this mean in terms of our graph? It means that you will see two x-intercepts uh, when you graph it. The next case is if delta is negative, so if the discriminant is negative, uh, sorry guys, I'm trying to abbreviate, but I'm abbreviating halfway here. So negative, uh, we will get no real solutions, which means that um, on the actual Cartesian plane, you will have no x-intercepts that you can actually find um, there. Uh, if, you, if you keep studying mathematics, what happens is that you'll find out that there are um, imaginary solutions, um, but not any of the actual real solution plane. So uh, the next thing is, if delta is zero, what we have is one real solution. So those are the three conditions that we have um, that we are going to investigate um, just now. So let's have a look at the first case here. Uh, remember what the formula for discriminant is. Uh, delta equals b squared minus 4ac. And we're going to have a look at what is our a value. So a is 6, uh, b is minus 2, and c is equal to minus 3. So if we plug that into the equation, what we end up getting is minus 2 squared minus 4 times 6 uh, times minus 3. And this becomes minus 2 squared is 4. Uh, and minus 4 times minus, si uh, minus 4 times 6 is uh, minus 24. And so times minus 24 by minus 3 and what we get is positive 72, and so this becomes 80. So in other words, the discriminant is equal to 80. And so this means that if the discriminant is positive, that means we will get two real solutions. Okay, and we're just gonna take a little look at that on the graph. So I'm going to graph 6p squared minus 2p uh, minus uh, 3. And uh, so I'm going to change, I'm going to interchange the x with um, uh, p, uh, p with x in this case, because it's just uh, this software only allows for um, the variable x to be used. 6p squared minus 2p. That. So you can see here that when we look at the graph, um, that we come up with two solutions, or the parabola hits at these two points. Uh, yet again, we did not see that there was uh, a particular value, but we just knew that there was going to be two intercepts uh, for that case. So let's have a look at the next question. Uh, once again, uh, what is your A value? A value is minus two, B value is minus one, and your C value is minus one. So the formula for the discriminant is equal to B squared minus four AC. And so this equals minus one squared minus 4, minus 2, and minus 1. And so what this ends up becoming is 1 minus, so minus 4 times
times minus 2 minus 8 minus 8 Ah, oh, sorry, minus 4 times minus 2 is positive 8 times minus 1 is negative 8. So this becomes minus 7, so that means the discriminant is equal to minus 7. So theoretically we should come up with no real solutions. In other words, there are going to be no um, x-intercepts. Let's have a look at this case in the graph. So minus 2x squared, so y equals minus 2x squared uh, minus x minus 1. And let's have a look where the graph is. So you can see here that the x-intercepts don't in fact um, even, re oh, the parabola does not even reach the fact uh, that, sorry, the parabola does not even reach um, the x-axis to actually complete a um, some sort of um, intersection with it. So you can see the discriminant holds for this case. Now the last case, let's have a look at this. So um, what I would do with this question first is rearrange it because uh, we, we usually like to have a coefficient or a term 0 or a y here. So it doesn't usually work if this is uh, a 5. So this becomes 9m squared plus 6m uh, minus plus 1. This is A equals 9, B equals 6, and C equals 1. So if we plug that into the discriminant, B squared minus 4AC is equal to discriminant. So this is the same as saying uh, B squared, which is 36. So 36 minus 4 times 9 times and this is 36 minus 36, which is equal to zero. So the discriminant is equal to zero. That means we should have one real solution. So we need to be careful with what we're graphing on the actual calculator. You need to graph this form and not the um, form that's not rearranged. So let's have a look. 9m squared, 9m squared plus 6m plus one. And you can see that if we have a look at the parabola right here, that it falls at a point which is just one intersection with the x-axis. So it's just that one point. And so we've come across the three cases where we've got one real solution, no real solutions, and two real solutions for the discriminant.